Hey guys, Gecko Guy here. <clears throat> so this is going to be Comments Weekly number five. Um, it is the 30th of July, 2014. So uh, let's get into this. Nika uh, and Amelie. I'm really sorry if I butchered that. Uh, LOL, the Crested Gecko steering the helicopter. A little happy face. Uh, um, I'm not really sure what you meant by that, but okay. Uh, Oscar is kick ass. Kick a z z z. Uh, What scale of RC are you most into? I'm mostly into minis and micro. I do 10th scale here and there. He says he does um, <clears throat> one 10th scale trail truck TTC. Tough truck competition. I'd like to do one of those, but. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd like to get into more larger scale RCs. Like, um, I'd. Kind of want a um, MT4 G3, but it's not waterproof, and I haven't seen any rollers come up on eBay. And I'd kind of like to do a Mamba Monster 2 in there, um, but I haven't really seen anything. Um, or yeah, and the only other thing is like the one eight scale Revo. But if anything, if I was to get a larger scale, I may go with a Summit. Um, if I was to get any RC with no budget, what would you get? Um, this is Stefan Hannon. Um, and, uh, he says, subscribe to my channel if you have not. Uh, and I said, I'm not really sure. I would probably get the E-Revo brushless edition and highly upgrade it, but, mm, I'm undecided. And he goes off saying that he's got the, that he... Almost got one, and he got the slash four before instead. And I said I'm jealous. <laughs> um, and also, it was his birthday recently, so happy belated birthday to Stefan. <clears throat> so Matt Lee, can you do a review on Horizon Hobby Sports Cup? I was thinking about getting one. Um, I, um, you know, I don't really have any interest in the Horizon Hobby Sports Cup. It's kind of an expensive plane. It was like 260 or something. And my advice, if anybody's kind of newer at planes and kind of getting into them, um, you know, there's always the Hobby Zone Champ. There's the Duet. Uh, there's the Delta Ray that I kind of like. And um, honestly, I'd say if you have the skills and you kind of want to get into it, um, build your own. Uh, Flight Test has a lot of cool plans and a lot of cool stuff. Um, GC12384, you have always been a loyal subscriber to me and I wanted to know what are your top five, blah, 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 top favorite five hobbies or things to do in my free time. Thanks and hopefully I'm being a loyal subscriber to you. Yes, you are being a loyal subscriber to you. Now that, that little thing right there. Mm, is that Pablo Torres from URC? I don't know. And I said I'm not too sure on that one and this is in no particular order. I like my reptiles, my RC obviously, um, fishing, gaming. I mostly do Xbox, PC, Nintendo and I've I've never really liked uh, PlayStation. It's just it's just me. I've never really been interested in their titles. There's a few that are pretty good, but other than that, uh, not too much. Um, and lastly, I couldn't think of anything. I said, uh, hanging with my friends. <laughs> High Volts RC. Hey, Gecko Guy. I love the channel. Keep up the good work. And I said, thank you very much. And uh, Jordan Caraballo. Uh, hey, Gecko Guy. I got an African fat tail on Saturday. I have a problem with him. He doesn't want to eat. I have his humidity on the average 50 and the temperature at 85 to 90 do you have any advice um, um, I could use to make him eat thank you also he has him in a 10 gallon tank with the night lamp and UV lamp um, <clears throat> and I said generally geckos that you just got um, don't eat for a few days because of the stress of the move and I said raise the humidity and raise the temp well raise the humidity and the temp seemed just spot on but it's very hard to diagnose what's wrong uh, when I don't know. Um, um, well, he, he put the temp and he put the humidity, that's fine. And he, he told me um, how many gallons it is, but he left out uh, 
um, substrate, what are you feeding them, are they appropriately sized, um, are you doing vitamins, all that kind of stuff. It's kind of unusual that a gecko, um, an African fat tail gecko that you got five days ago isn't eating. Um, so you may want to look into what breeder you got it from, what are they feeding it, or is it from the pet store, did they feed it crickets, cockroaches, or whatever. Um, because generally with African, African fat tails, they only go after like fast moving live prey. Um, yes, I have gotten my African fat tails to eat um, worms in the past, but it's not very easy to do. Um, so best of luck to you on that, Jordan. Um, and I'd kind of like to point stuff out right over here. Here's my description. Whoops. Um, I have an about me, and I said, and this is going to look like crap because I'm not using like a snipping tool. I don't use, I'm not using my uh, capture card. Um, I am interested in all exotic species of, uh, or in, uh, all exotic species, and I specialize in gecko care and worm breeding. My reptile videos are for educational purposes, and I don't breed to make profit. Um, I am an RC fanatic. I love to share unboxing reviews, tips and tricks. I especially love minis and micros. I'm not too big into planes and helicopters, but I like quadcopters. Um, and this is kind of like my all my links here. And uh, here's a question in Q and A. So be sure to check these out. Not that people read descriptions anymore, but RC related. Can you do a review on blank RC? Um, and I hate to sound like this, but um, I said, you know, if you want to buy me one and send it to my house, then yeah, I can, I can definitely do a review on that. But I buy I, uh, the RCs that I find interesting and that I want to buy. Um, and can you make a running video on um, so and so RC? And I said, um, I may already have it. Search the channel. Do I do contests? Um, I do them from time to time. I don't ever give out prizes that are like more than 20 bucks. I know that sounds a little cheap, but I'm not going to buy a $600 kit and give it away for free. It would be for myself. Um, I do frequent RC collection videos, so what you see from a year ago it may not be in my collection anymore. So, uh, reptile related, can you do a setup video? I really don't like to do those. They're pretty basic and pretty straightforward. I mean, if you just look at one or two videos you get a basic idea um, you can use flower pots as a as a reptile hide I'm using that for my toke you can use fishing or not fishing but um, you can use aquarium fish hides as a reptile hide I use that for my crested gecko and for my fat tails um, you can even make your own you can turn a little um, lunch lunchables or instant whatever sandwich meat thing into a reptile head and um, I am not a reptile breeder and do I want to trade reptiles no I don't I like my babies I don't want to trade them off and do I sell reptile stuff no I don't will you do a re buy a reptile video or right but <laughs> it's been a long day at work uh, will you buy a reptile and do a, a video on it and I said in bold letters no I will not buy an animal and take it into my house just for the sake of your entertainment and, um, yeah, that's basically that. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And, um, you know, if you have any suggestions on what I should do, um, be sure to post it in comments weekly number five. Um, you know, I'm open to suggestions, feedback, um, and, you know, I do take my snipping tool, and if somebody... Um, has an interesting request or interesting comment that I want to do a video on, I do take my snipping tool and I will uh, highlight that person and then add them into my video. Um, now, a lot of people are wondering when is the, um, what's it called, the shout out video coming. Well, um, I've been working pretty hard on that and, you know, it, it's, I, I know it's been a, a little over a month since I did that video. And people are like, ooh, shout out video, yay, yay, yay. Um, and they're like, when's it coming out, when's it coming out? It's like, well, it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen in a week. I left it open for a little while so people had a good, fair chance to um, get a comment in there and get their channel, um, what it's about and all that. Um, so that, that sort of deal. But yes, I am working on it. All I got to do is a voiceover and talk about all the channels that entered and that's that's about it and you know I'll do a it's um 
this video that I have in my editor is going to be like 12 minutes and it's I had like 30 people comment with their channels so yeah just stay tuned for that I, I think I'm gonna make that a priority for my day off tomorrow um, so I'm rambling I will cut it off here be sure to comment like and subscribe thanks for watching see you again